Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I'm coming with kind of like a different video from the usual fashion content. I decided that I'm gonna get ready either way so I thought I might has as well just film it for you guys as well um, just to show you kind of my very quick makeup routine. This is like what I do kind of every day. Uh, when I go to the office, it's maybe like a little bit more different, like I put maybe a little bit more makeup on. Uh, but generally for the rest of the days when I have home office and I'm just like filming and so on, um, this is kind of like my usual makeup routine. It's very simple, very easy for people that maybe don't have like as much time, for people that are not like professionals and so on. Like this is kind of like the usual thing that I do. Um, currently it's Monday, it's the morning time. I have here my cup of coffee. Um, and since today I decided to dedicate the day to filming and so on um, I thought I might as well just film also like my makeup routine that I do as I said kind of like every single day I um, already did my um, skincare routine so I cleanse my face and then I put on moisturizer all that stuff like serums and so on so I might as well just start now directly with the makeup. I always start um, with this one, which is kind of like a prime and fine fixing spray. Um, this is from Cartrice and this is kind of like prepares your face for the makeup. Um, I have kind of like noticed that whenever I use this, the makeup is kind of like a bit smoother around the face, if that makes sense. Um, so that's why I've been using it a bit more and then I go on with the, a primer. This is this one from the brand Avon, which I usually, um, I hadn't like known or I didn't know until now. And this is like a Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer. Um, I like because it has a bit of collagen inside. It's also extremely difficult to do makeup when you have bangs because they are always on the way. But we'll try our best today. And then I go on with this one, which is a uh, tinted moisturizer. It's a color control oil-free moisturizer. This is from Shiseido. Um, I actually um, saw once like a um, video on YouTube that was kind of talking about like tinted moisturizers because I am not the hugest fan of like um, foundations I feel that they are always so so heavy on my face so I have always kind of like gone more for like tinted moisturizers I feel they give a bit more of that natural look that I like um, and I saw this one which is actually comes in this like white form but then it adapts to your skin color once it's being kind of like um, set into the skin so I like this one and as I said this is definitely leaves still like that very um, I would say neutral and very natural skin tone but it just gives a bit more of like definition and it just seems a bit more like um, spread evenly into your face um, as it doesn't have like any dark shade or so on it's just like um, kind of like a depth. Um, and then I also put it a bit here around my neck and what I like about this um, Since I use it also kind of like every day is that it also has SPF 30 Which I think that now in winter Especially for those like days where kind of like the sun rays are not as like hot and so on It's still like a good I think um, Alternative and I after putting the tinted moisturizer I go on with my concealer guys I just put now concealer um, and then I move on to my lashes. I go with this um, mascara from Benefit. Um, I got this in a goodie box that I was subscribed to and I actually, I actually really really like it because it's also like a very compact one that you can just take with you um, everywhere kind of but it's also like really good I feel like it just also makes your lashes like look extra long and I think it's also like what it assumes to do I don't know so this one I actually really really like and I was like impressed 
Okay guys, I put now only one layer of mascara and that's just like my technique that I've always used somehow is that I only put like one layer of mascara and then I let this one dry and I continue doing the rest of my face and then I go in the end again with a second layer. Um, I don't know, I feel like my lashes just like look a bit better, like way more curled um, and I also have like less than like residue left like on my um, like near my eyebrows I don't know if that's also a problem that you guys have but I have a problem and it's very annoying especially with certain types of mascara that are maybe not as as good um, like I have that because then they always so like get so so black which I hate and I would like to prevent that and I have been using this technique for a long time and it somehow helps a little bit i don't know if maybe like the dryness of the first layer contributes somehow i have no idea but yeah now i am kind of doing my brows i am also using this one from benefit which i think everyone knows is this 24 hour brow setter i've also been using this for so many years now and it's kind of like one of the only i would say brow gels or brow setters that actually work with my brows i have very stubborn brows that always seem to come down and i hate that guys i did now my brows as well um i'm trying to make my eyebrows look a bit bushier it's very difficult i've been trying a lot of like oils and products but it, they grow a little bit but it's not like the ideal thing that i would want but it's okay we're we're happy with, with what we have i just don't pluck them at all i just let them be you know and then they do whatever they want at this point so i'm not gonna touch them um and then i go on with blush blush is my favorite part because i feel like it gives my skin um and my makeup like so much definition like i usually go either with my fingers or i just kind of like try to tap it in with my sponge um both kind of like work and i also put a little bit on the tip of my nose here on the bridge of my nose um because it gives kind of like the very natural and kind of like sun touched look um which we all like but i really like this like creamy blush i like always work better with creamy products for some reason at least for my face they work the best um because i have like dry spots on my face apart from my very tea oil is on um, and somehow like when I use creamy products they just work much better for me and sometimes I usually also tap it and put them also on my eyelids before I continue then with kind of like the rest of the eyeshadow stuff um, just because I kind of feel like it gives a bit more like color and just a bit more life to my face if that makes sense now I'm probably gonna quickly do a very light eyeshadow just for a little bit of definition i am using this one i think this is from claire's i've had this now i think for two years or so so i'm just gonna go in with that i'm gonna get kind of like a darker color here and i'm just gonna put it like on the crease and then also the same here and i also like to kind of like pull it a bit out um, because it gives a bit more of that cat eye definition, if that makes sense. And then I will probably also put a little bit of this yellow one, um, kind of like, you know, here to just bring a bit more brightness. And I just feel like it makes my eye look a bit more open, kind of. So I really like this like yellow shade. You know, and this is not like a very strong yellow tone, it's very like light and I just feel like it's just nice for like the openings of your eye, just for a little bit of more brightness, but it's really not like crazy at all. And that's why I said this is something that I do every day. I would not put like a yellow, a very strong yellow tone on my face for an everyday makeup, but this is like very subtle and I kind of like that. And sometimes I'll also go a bit more like down here and kind of bring it a bit more down um, so that it also kind of gives that open feeling um, at the bottom of your eye. Okay guys, I also went on and 
did a very fine um, eyeliner. I am using here this um, pencil from Cartrice, which is this kind of like gel um, waterproof 20 hour ultra precision gel eye pencil um, and this is actually like super super gliding I am very bad at doing eyeliners because I have very shaky hands um, and I always make a mess but somehow with this one it's just like you really need to go one time and it has like this very nice consistency it's gliding and it's really like a gel texture which I really like and I feel like somehow this gives a little bit more of like you know shape to my eye it also brings like my eye color more um, more out it highlights it a little bit more and I really really like that um, and I really like this color somehow like with very dark black pencils like I look a bit crazy I feel like it's a little bit too much but somehow with this one it feels like it's a very nice balance um, and it also goes very nice like with the blush and so on so I really like that um, but yeah, now I will definitely go for the second layer of mascara um, so that I am kind of done with the eyebrows and with my eye makeup. Alright guys, so I am finished now with kind of like the upper part. I think that the last step is putting on a bit of setting powder. I have also started using this one from e.l.f. which is this Hello Glow setting powder. I am usually not very big on um, putting setting powders and so on but I feel um, since I have kind of as I said a very oily t-zone um, that it just helps kind of to block like that oil from coming out so I put it kind of like all on this like kind of triangle here of my face. Um, and I also noticed, for example, when I was at work or at the office and so on, when I did not have this, like this area here would look very, very oily very soon. And somehow I feel like this helps a little bit to, you know, just set everything and, you know, just not let those, you know, oils come out as much as usual. Um, and I also go a little bit on my chin because that's also one of my Kind of like oily zones which we hate and i really really don't like an oily look so i just try to put a little bit of that and yeah but i also also really feel like this gives a like really like that glowy kind of look like it's just very brightening um so yeah i do that as well and i put on a setting spray as well i feel like this i also did not use this for a very very long time but somehow i've started lately together with that first primer that i told you and i feel like really my makeup looks way better also throughout the day um i also use this one from cartrice which also has like hyaluronic acid in it so it's also nice for that extra moisture lastly for the days when i am like as i said not like super busy and i don't have to be anywhere super important i just go on kind of like with a tinted lip balm um i may i mean when i go to the office i put a bit of like um lipstick on um kind of like line a bit like my lips and so on but very very lightly i'm not very big on super lining my lips um and somehow now i am going with this um, nature or natural um, lip balm that I got actually lately and it's this one from La Vera very pale lips which is something that I hate and that's why I go for like this tinted lip balms because I can just use them and reapply them throughout the day as many times as I want uh, because I have as I said very very pale lips and I look like I have no life if I don't put a bit of like lip balm on yeah guys this would be my kind of like everyday makeup routine um as i said i do this almost every day like sometimes a bit less sometimes a bit more but it's kind of like the base is this one um but yeah as i said not really big on makeup this is a very easy um makeup tutorial for anyone out there who is not like a pro but just wants kind of like that very simple look um just to kind of like look a bit more like put together um so yeah this is what i do and i feel actually very very comfortable with this makeup my face doesn't feel like extremely overdone i don't have like so many layers of makeup on me which i sometimes like feel like suffocates my skin um but yeah this is like very super natural um i will try to link some of the products that i have been using um down below in the description box um, but yeah let me know if you would want me to film more similar videos thank you so much for watching and i will see you again next week with another video bye